Hey my dear friends, once again welcome back to the channel, I am Gaurav here and that's the 27th video of this series. And in today's video we're gonna create a back button and the exit menu UI for our game. So let's get started but before we begin, as I always say if you are new in the channel then please check out our previous videos first. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon, it's absolutely free. Now let's quickly jump into the project and and here we have our ui game object that we have been working on for the last couple of videos and in there we have four canvases health canvas crosshair canvas main menu canvas and the pause menu canvas that we created in the last video now once again i'll create a separate ui canvas and i'll name it underscore exit menu canvas within it i'll put every stuff which is related to the back button and the exit menu ui so that everything looks nice and organized then set its scale mode to the scale with screen size and give it a required reference resolution same as we did with the other canvases now here under the exit menu canvas we'll create a button and name it underscore exit button okay so right now it's not visible on the screen but it's there and it's not visible cause of the sort order number i hope you guys haven't forgotten about it cause i already explained it in the previous video so for the time being i'm temporarily disabling the main menu canvas all right so here we can able to see that button and now we can tweak its settings so let's change its height and width to make it square and then i'll anchor it to the top left corner by holding down the alt button and then click on this preset now give it a little buffer from the edges and i'll give 100 on the x position and negative 200 on the y position okay i'll pass this image into the source image slot and if you guys want to download this image then i've given its link down there in the description box um all right so before we try to pass that image into the source image slot first we have to set its texture type to the sprite 2d and ui and then don't forget to hit the apply button and now we can easily pass it into the source image slot and it looks good then here on the button component i'll set its normal color to the black then reduce its alpha value and i'll set it to 100 that way it'll look slightly transparent now here under the exit menu canvas we'll create a panel and we'll call it are you sure exit menu panel and I'll color it to the black. Within that, we'll create a UI image and we'll name it background. Then increase its height and width according to your need. For me, I'll set its width to 1600 and 480 on the height. And then again, I'll color it to the black and make it a little bit transparent. And after this, we'll create text type UI element and increase its height and width and move it a little bit up. Now here we will write a message which we want to display on the screen whenever we try to quit the game. Here I would write, are you sure you want to exit? Then make it a bold and Italian and then increase its font size uh, somewhere around 80 and then set it to the center and it looks good. Okay, next here we have to create a two more buttons, one for yes and one for no. So let's create a button and name it yes button. Then increase its size according to your taste and move it a bit left and a little bit down. Now here on the text input I'll write yes and make it bold increase its size and i'll color it to the bright white then here on the button component i'll change its normal color to the purple and also make it slightly transparent and then on the highlighted color palette i'll give it a same purple color now let's create another button to make a no button and to make a no button i would just duplicate it and name it to the no button and also i'll change its text to no on the text input and then move it to the right okay we have created all the required ui elements which we want to set the back button and the exit menu ui so let's make it work and to do this first open the main menu script and here we will create a public function that will terminate the game now here all the way down i'll create a public function and name it quit game and in it i'll write a function which is application dot quit this will allow us to terminate the running application although it will only work with the end build application not with the editor so yeah it will not gonna work on editor but it will work perfectly fine when we will build our game now save it and hop back to the unity and let it compile now click on the exit button and here 
First, I'll give a red color on the highlighted color palette. Then, on the on click handler list, I'll add two events. First and foremost, we want to stop the game. So the process to stop the game should be the first priority in the event list. Okay, after freezing the game, we want a confirmation slide pop-ups on the screen, which is this are you sure exit panel. So drag the UI game object in there and and then select the pause button function from the list. And then after that pass the are you sure UI panel in there. And then select the set active pool from the list, then click on the checkbox to set it active. And on the yes button, we'll add three events. First one is to activate the main menu UI. Second, to disable the are you sure exit panel. And then the third one is for to leave the game. Now drag the main menu canvas on the first slot, then select the set active pool and click on the checkbox so that it will be activated. Then drag the are you sure exit panel on the second slot and select set active pool and leave it to inactive. And here on the third slot, we will pause the main menu script which is attached on the UI game object and then here we will select the quit button function from the list and this will actually exit our game and now here on the no button we will add two events first we will add our user exit panel to it to deactivate it and then we will add the resume function in there now initially we have to set the our user exit panel to disable and then lastly don't forget to reactivate the main menu canvas now let's see whether everything working properly or not. Press the play button and here the pause button is working fine, resume button is working fine and the back button and exit menu UI are also working fine. Awesome. Ok the exit button won't gonna work on the editor mode however it'll work perfectly fine when we will build our game. But wait I just noticed a major design flaw with our game. Look what happened if I pause the game and then click anywhere on the screen okay wait first let me place the game and scene window side by side so that you can see everything clearly now let's see what happened if i pause the game and then if i click anywhere on the screen you will notice that the projectile clones are still spawning in the game scene even when the game is paused but why well okay look here on the hierarchy tab there are a bunch of projectiles spawned and we don't want them to keep spawning when the game is paused right now let's see what happened if i resume the game whoa <laughs> that that's really unexpected and it's not good for our game at all so we have to fix this issue and to fix it we have to figure out that why we are getting that bizarre behavior so to find out let's quickly jump into the weapon script and try to get to the root of that strange behavior now have you noticed anything strange or anything that shouldn't be here look here we are facing that issue because we are using the update function so if you remember that in the last few videos we talked about time dot time scale function where we learned that the time dot time scale has some limitations as such time dot time scale function doesn't work well with the update function so that's why we are having that bizarre behavior from our player well i'm not gonna explain about time dot time scale function again but if you forgot about it or you are new on the channel then i've given its link up here on the card or down there in the description box okay let's fix it so instead of using update function we will use fixed update and that'll fix our problem for now however using fixed update is not a proper solution for this problem cause by doing so we will face another issue cropped up in our game and it'll affect our shooting ability but for now let's just save it and go back to the unity and let's see what we got there is everything working as expected or not and we fixed the issue of course it's not a proper solution and it's just temporary now let's copy the exit menu canvas and paste it on the scene too and that's it for today's video so today we created a back button and the exit menu ui for our game and for now it looks fine although there are a lot of bugs in the game and we will fix them all in the near future but only if you guys pay attention so if you have noticed any bug in the game then comment down on the comment box and i'll show your name and your comment on the next video otherwise if you think that you can fix these bugs by yourself then i'll always encourage you to feel free to play with the code and try to make your own way it will be interesting and surprising 
but for now that's all in this video and in the next video we'll fix the shooting related issues in our game so till then keep learning keep practicing and i'll meet you in the further upcoming videos for now see you later